most Blizzard games will soon be banned in China. Gamers in mainland China will take another major hit in the not too distant future. Blizzard announced that it is going to suspend access to some of its popular games in this country as a result of the fact that it was not able to renew its license agreements with NetEase. These agreements with NetEase gave Blizzard the ability to publish its games in mainland China starting in 2008. The agreements expire on January 23, and it was not possible to agree on a license extension. Blizzard claims that it was not able to come to an agreement that would satisfy its principles of work and obligations to gamers and employees. In a press release, Blizzard says that in the coming days it will stop selling games in China. From January 23, most of its gaming services in China will be stopped. New releases of World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Hearthstone, March of the Lich King and the second season of Overwatch 2 remain in the plans for this year. NetEase says that development of the Diablo Immortal game will continue. It is created jointly with the Chinese company Tencent and there is a separate license agreement for it. NetEase reports that games account for a small share of its revenue and profits. China generated about 3% of Activision's revenue in 2022. Bloomberg writes that the reasons for the disagreement are not only in financial conditions. We are also talking about the right to intellectual property and control over the personal data of millions of players from China. The latter is a particularly sensitive topic in light of the tensions between the US and China. Despite the popularity of mobile and video games in China, the government is quite active in restricting them. The nine-month pause for issuing game licenses ended in April. Even in China. People under the age of 18 are prohibited from playing online games for more than three hours a week, writes TechSpot.